Laura Baker, L A U R A B A K E R. Um, I'm speaking in support of LD 4136. I feel this is important because being in the program I am currently a part of, which is the Pathways Program, is employment first. And I feel this bill could benefit many people who are in search and need of work and or experience in particular fields of our individual goals to maintain self sufficiency. As well as provide the program such as the one I'm a part of, the extra resources to people extra resources to people to further assist in areas of employment and work experience such as people to communicate with on possibilities for gainful employment. This bill will also be beneficial to those furthering education who have minimal income being on assistance. I am currently enrolled in college for vet tech full time while being a single mother to a beautiful four year old little girl as well as follow rules and guidelines to receive the assistance I am granted. Knowing there are funds and people to put to use and work, this bill will provide jobs and resources for those who not only want to improve their lives, but need the experience as well as personal assistance to provide those who are unable to retain work or self-sufficiency. I am goal oriented and ready to do for myself. Not that I'm ungrateful, I just know I can do this. I need and appreciate the assistance. If not for all in a part of I would not reach my potential. Thank you very much for your testimony. Questions? How far are you away from finishing that program? Um, it ends in March. your bet. Oh, I'm sorry, your bet tech. I should have. Are you yeah. close to that? I had to further. I had to do some additional education before I could actually start. So it'll be in April that I'll be starting. Oh, excellent. Yes. I should ask her if she was we had a, a bill on the floor of the legislature that deals with bovine implants uh, on veterinarians. And I would caution you that perhaps your best way to go is that you didn't come to testify for that. All the senators are going to laugh. It was very, it was very <laughs> <serious> controversial. <laughs> yeah. so, thanks uh, thanks well, for uh, letting us have a little chuckle here at the end of the year. Yeah, we're going to tell you where it goes. And we very much appreciate your willingness to come forward and share your story. So thanks a lot. Well, thank you for your time. Oh, thank you. Okay. Um, our next testifier. My name is Ann Sexton. I volunteer for ministries. Do you want to spell your name for us? S E X T O N. And uh, I don't have a hand up for you. I do apologize. I was sort of notified late of this. Um, I'm here to speak in support of LB 1136. I had a ninth grade education. I was a dropout, a teenage mother, a rape victim, a domestic abuse victim, a mother who lost a child in a tragic accident, and a mother who was on ADC for many years. And the list goes on. I was undereducated, edu underskilled, and poverty stricken. I could not see any doors of opportunity. I stopped believing in myself, and I gave up on ever being able to rise above those circumstances. I did not know how to. I received some state aid, off and on, and I would go through cycles of employment, but never reaching a point where I made a sustainable living wage. I did not have any hope of securing a decent future. Programs were far and few between. There weren't many LB 1136s. Let's face it, employees have the choice to pick the cream of the crop from their applicants, and I was the curdled milk. I certainly was not the cream. There was a program, though, workforce, that did take people that qualified under their guidelines and then would place them in training programs or school to give them the skills that would enhance their ability to find a job. I reluctantly walked into the Blue Lion Center in Omaha to apply for this program. I met the guidelines financially and the asset tests I passed. There was still a problem. I had made such a mess of my young life that my program caseworker, manager, and the director felt that even if I did get the training, that I would be unemployable due to my past. I needed the chance. I didn't think I was worth much at this point. 
Life had beaten my spirit down, yet somewhere in me I knew I needed that job, that education, and that training. I learned who funded that program, and I went on with that information. I came back and I refused to take no for an answer, and I was accepted into the program. They gave me that lifeboat. I was tired of drowning. There are many women who need programs like LB 1136 and LB 842. LB 36 provides a unique opportunity to partnership with the community and businesses to train and employ people that have been left behind the diamonds in the rough who are waiting to shine. What better incentive is there for employers to get involved with LB 1136? An employee who is trained to do the job and incentive and work subsidies. A perfect reason for an employer to pick this applicant, these new creams of the crop. It makes good business sense. The communicates people in turn who are no longer recipients of the tax dollars but are now contributing taxpayers. Jobs reduce crime. Jobs and education provide family stability, lifting up next and upcoming generations. The potential benefits of a program such as LB 1136 are endless. It says there is hope, there is opportunity. If she can do it, I can do it. Learn by example and lead by example. Let me finish my story for you. My lifeboat, the program, accepted me and sent me to the computer school at New Horizons at Omaha. I learned basic computer school skills and eventually I graduated an 18 month program as a certified Microsoft administrator. I successfully completed this and then my desire to achieve became even greater. I went to find a job and I found it in accurate communications and established business in Omaha for the last 50 years and has satellite offices in Houston, Atlanta, Lincoln, and Sioux Falls. We service thousands of companies across the United States in many different areas. Um, I have been employed at 40 hours a week there for the past several years. My boss, the CEO of the company, Jeffrey Zendell, is interested in LB 1136 and would agree to participate in such a program. There are employers out here that see the benefit. My story didn't stop there. I enrolled in UNO four years ago. I graduated on December 17th of this year with my degree in general studies in the field of criminal justice. I'm a Buffett scholar. I also was nominated to and accepted into America's universities and colleges who's who. I do volunteer work in my community. I organize and I'm the vice president of Laird Street Association and the organization Hood, helping ourselves dream, uh, obtain dreams, which strives to uplift our immediate neighborhood. I do volunteer work. I speak regularly at UNL and UNO. I also mentor at Heart Ministries, trying to help the girls and the clientele there find out how to complete their GEDs and go on to college and to get jobs, make resumes, whatever it is to uplift their self from being dependent to independent. The most important thing though is I know I'm somebody and I know I have work, I have hope. I want to pay it forward and help others for what was given to me. LB 1136 is that program that can change lives. Thank you and please support the video. Thank you for sharing your story. That's wonderful. Thank you. For sharing. Congratulations. Thank you. Great. Mm -hmm. Any questions from the senators? That is a quick question. Can I have that note that has the uh, jobs help families and people and create reduce crime for a stump speech I might have to make? Can I have that? Would you give that to <laughs> Senator Bell, who's a low cat lake? That was very good. Thank you Thank very you. much. I think that's only allowable if you. Senator Cook, I think that's only allowable if you attribute the quote to. Secretary of course I will. She's going to sign it. <laughs> and I'm going to use it in my work here, Senator Blue, who reminded me. <laughs> and not merely as I go about my community work in the world. Thank you. Thank you for your time. We do have to. We do have to tell you that we're all kind of. Tired. Yes. 